I am so glad you have joined me in my incredible lab here at Incrediworld. Today, we are doing an experiment called polishing pennies. And for this experiment, you need some dirty pennies. You also could use some clothespins if you have them, but you don't really need them. And you need some scientific solutions from around your house. Now, you can use all kinds of scientific solutions. Let me tell you some of the ones that I am using today. I have lemon juice. I have ketchup and mustard. Mmm, makes me hungry for a frankfurter. I also have a vinegar with a little bit of salt in it. I have some soda or pop or cola. All depends on what part of the universe you come from. And I also have some milk. Now you can use any solution you can find at home. Maybe orange juice or apple juice or lime juice or, or even water. Any solution you can find, but you probably should ask for permission first. But find your solutions and place them in some type of container. Now, I have also taken these dirty pennies and placed them inside these clothespins. If you don't have the clothespins, that's okay. You can just drop the pennies in the solution. It will just be a little bit messier when you go to take them out. So I'm going to go ahead and place all the pennies into the different scientific solutions here at the beginning of our experiment. Now, while those pennies are soaking in their solutions, let's learn a little bit about pennies. Now, pennies, when they are made, they are made from a combination of zinc and copper. The copper is on the outside and that makes them nice and shiny like this. But over time, the copper reacts with the air around us. And that air causes something to develop called copper oxide, which gives the penny a dirty look. Sometimes even dirt and grime, it gets all over the penny too, which makes it look hmm, not so shiny like this one. So we are placing these dirty pennies in the scientific solutions to see which one will clean the copper oxide off the pennies the most. So go ahead and try this. Now, take the pennies out and see which one has cleaned it the most. Now, I'm not going to show you all of these because I want you to try this at home. But I take out the first one out of the lemon juice and I wipe it off with my paper towel and I see, wow, it is definitely cleaner than before. Hmm, which one else should I try? What about the milk? Yes. Milk is good for strong bones, but is it good for polishing pennies? Let's see. Um, I don't think so. You see, some of these solutions have a type of acid in them. For instance, fruit juices have citric acid, and that acid reacts with the copper oxide and removes it from the penny. But it doesn't damage the penny. It does not damage the copper or the zinc. It just washes away the dirt and the grime from the penny. Some substances have more acid in them and that makes the penny shinier. Some have less acid in them and the penny does not get very shiny at all. So, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of how Jesus cleans our hearts. He washes away our sin when we trust him for eternal life. There is only one who can clean our hearts from sin, and that is Jesus Christ. I hope that everyone has trusted Jesus as their savior. If you have not, maybe you know someone who loves Jesus, and you can talk to them because all day today, 
we have been talking about how you can admit, believe, and forever receive. And I hope that every single one of you has done that. Thanks for joining me in my lab. We'll see you again soon.